Thank you. Can we go back to CFOP, its new name, and I'll come to that in a minute. I want to go back to um, the issue of the $6.7 million that was allocated to the Pink Bats Royal Commission. You said that money was, I think, uncommitted. Is that correct? Can you tell me under, out of what funding source that money came? Um, I think that table, table 1.2. Uh, in the additional estimates uh, statement, and there's a footnote. Uh, footnote four um, gives an explanation. Uh, this measure was announced um, in 13 14 my EFO. It provides savings from the fisheries adjustment assistance yeah, package and component. That's, that's what I'm so confused notional, about. Yep. So I want to come to the actual fisheries package in a minute. Yep. But that original 100 million that came out of the fisheries package. Which area of funding did that come out of? Did it come out of the National Heritage Trust Fund? Or if not, which other account? Well, I think the previous government's commitment was up to $100 million or in the order of $100 million um, because it was an assistance, an adjustment assistance package. The government uh, at the time was not wanting to confirm what the total, the total budget amount was. Uh, and neither am I confirming that. Um, as you know, Senator, the, um, under the Caring for Our Country program, there are, there are notional allocations, typically. And we've had those conversations many times before. Um, uh, my understanding is uh, that, um, the, well, that be, because they're notional allocations, it doesn't make yeah, it, Mr. Doesn't Mr. Make Thompson, no I specifically want to know, yep. did it come out of the NHT fund? That was from the, from the trust. That was from the trust. Yes. So why is money from the trust being spent on the Pink Bats Royal Commission? That was um, a, a measure in terms of a savings a re, a re, reallocation in terms is, of government I'm, priorities. I'm, I really want to be clear about this. I, I might assist you uh, here. Senator Seward, the situation is like this. We've inherited a very I, bad... Well, I, I'll be providing an answer to your question, so if you can just bear with me. I don't need We've to inherited a budget in very bad shape uh, with $123 billion worth of projected deficits over the Ford estimates with debt uh, heading for $667 billion. And one of the budget process operation rules that we operate under is if there is uh, some uh, new expenditure that takes place, uh, there are some offsets that have to be found within other areas across government uh, in order to ensure that spending across government uh, doesn't keep increasing. So the government made a decision uh, to uh, do what we said before the election we would do, which is uh, to try and get to the bottom as to what happened uh, with the home installation program, where, as you would recall, uh, some people died, uh, some people were seriously injured. You're and, wasting, uh, the Prime Minister, Minister, you're uh, wasting uh, my time. Uh, uh, Senator Seward, I've, I've been very uh, I asked quiet. A I've been letting, yep, and, 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 I'm, and I'm providing an answer to and your I'm, question. No, you're not. Uh, I'm well, sorry. Senator Senator Seward, I need to know. Senator Seward, uh, Senator Seward, allow the Minister to continue. Please explain the budget. Senator Seward, this is a very important no, answer to your question. I mean, I'm, I'm quite happy to let things go. Uh, when, when it's just a matter of getting some facts. But here there is a perspective from the government that's got to be put on the table. Uh, we said before the election that we would have this inquiry. Uh, we made commitments to the families uh, of the um, people that got injured by this program uh, in the lead up to the last election. We're delivering on this commitment, but we're doing it in a way uh, that fits within the fiscal uh, fiscally constrained framework that we're dealing with, and as such, um, the officials probably won't be able to assist you much further because it was very much a decision of the government uh, to reprioritise uh, the funding, uh, un uncommitted funding uh, that was that was available in those respective programs. Okay. Thank you, Minister. I specifically want to know: Is this money coming out of the NHT fund? And I'm sure Mr. Thompson and Mr. Sullivan know why I'm asking that question. You answered that question. I think I think that question was actually answered. Okay. Did was the NHT ministerial board consulted over that decision? Uh, Senator, I have to check the records in terms of the. 
the uh, meetings of the ministerial board that have taken place since the election. So I'm happy to take that on notice. Okay, thank you. Did you provide advice to the ministers about the purpose of NHT funds and the, and the fact that this was being redirected out of that NHT fund account? Uh, the minister was quite aware that, uh, of where the, okay. the offset was the uh, savings uh, offset was. Was the minister was aware of the from. purpose of that particular fund and uh, account? So, so, Senator Seward, I, I will intervene here again. The, the government uh, made a conscious and deliberate decision. We take responsibility for the decision that we took. Um, and it, it is really difficult for officials in the department to try and justify what ultimately are decisions that were made by the government. Senator, just to, um, if I might, um, the, the language uh, used in the budget uh, documents is around redirection of funding. It, it's actually a, a take from the, the, the NHT. It is an offset from the NHT. It's not NHT money being used for this purpose, if I can. That's I'm why I was sure. asking you about yep. where the money came from. Yes, so it is, it is an offset taken from the National Heritage Trust. So what do you mean it's an offset? It, it means that uh, the money is taken from that appropriation. Uh, it is no longer linked to that appropriation and it is used for another purpose. So if, if the intent of your question, and I'm sorry if it took me a while to get to it, if the intent of your question is whether uh, money has been, if you like, misappropriated or mis misused because it's governed by the appropriation of the Natural Heritage Trust, that's not the case. It's Why actually is that? an offset. Is that, money still, is that money still available to be spent for what the NHT account was established no. for? The answer no, is no. It, so in other words, money did it was come a saving, out of it. It, Yes, and it was a savings yes, taken from that account. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I wanted to find out. Um, in terms of the 100 million, as it relates to the fisheries money, in terms of the 100 million as it relates to the, to the um, original allocation, which was the, I don't know, it was a nominal amount, I accept that <coughs> process. Um, that is because the uh, management planning process is not being proceeded with. Is that why that funding is now available? for marine parks. I, I, I do have other marine questions, but is, is that <coughs> why? Uh, Senator, yes, uh, the, because the management plans were set aside and we're going through a new process through the review of, of establishing new management plans, we don't know the impact of the ultimate management arrangements on fisheries, so it's... Um, until that process has been finalised, the Fisheries Adjustment Assistance Program was not able to be, you know, continue to be rolled out this year. Okay, thank you. I do have more marine questions. I just want to finish the next. Sorry, bounce you around. Um, in terms of um, Mr Thompson, you've been referring to the National Land Care Program by its collective name. Remember last time in the in Ag Committee, um, we were talking about the fact that you hadn't quite resolved if that's going to be the name or not of the program, is that now confirmed that the National Land Care Program, the, all the program will be called National Land Care Program? Um, no, yeah. the, um, uh, I wasn't part of the Ag Committee, so I'm not sure where the indecision came from. Um, I think it's uh, the, natural, the, the future of the National Land Care Program, as I explained to uh, Senator Urquhart early, earlier, is, is still a matter for the budget process, but our expectation is it, it will take uh, the appropriations from the NRM Natural Resource Management uh, Special Account, yep. the Natural Her Heritage Trust Special Account, yep. the, uh, uh, the, stewardship the, the, yeah. the stewardship program, as well as the working on country uh, appropriation. So everything, including the land care program, you said, didn't you? That's the uh, Natural Resource Management Special Account. Yes, sorry. Um, what I was getting to is that what is going to be rebranded as, or will there be another name for that program? Not that we're aware of. Okay. So that will be Thank you. National um, and judging by what you've said before, the decision on that is not going to be made until after the budget. Obviously, it'll become clear after the budget. Uh, the business plan process. That, what's that's a matter for, for um, the government, Senator. Okay. That uh, uh, obviously there are there are time constraints. Uh, in terms of certainty for future funding, but the timing of, of details around future program settings are a matter for government. 
Okay, so nothing's been finalised for, for the next business plan? Uh, in terms of the, there are a whole range of existing contracts under the previous Caring for Our Country. I'm, I'm meaning I mean, for the new But that, uh, and a great deal of work has been done on providing advice on, on future program settings, um, and that's really now a timing issue with respect to, uh, uh, coupled with the budget process. Senator, the, the government has said um, that it does want to uh, release guidelines and it does want to consult on the, the future shape. Okay. But, yeah. And that will happen after the, all that other process stuff. So, okay, thank you. Um, in terms of um, the $1 million that was allocated for National Land Care Network, can you confirm for me whether it comes under Minister Hunt or Minister Joyce? That again will be a decision uh, for the budget process. Okay, so that decision hasn't been made. Is that well, the decision has been made with respect to oh, the uh, meeting the, the allocation of the commitment. funding, um, but but not under which minister it'll come under. No, uh, because no decisions have been finalised in terms of government making that, that clear in terms of what the, the, the settings will be. Okay, thank you. Um, in terms of. Um, any staff losses that are associated with the MRA, uh, NRM change, will there be any? Or should I have asked that this morning and put it on notice? It, it's, it's really uh, it's, too early to it's say. Too early to say. Okay. Are they okay. going to be affected, Senator? Thank you. And by, last one on this area before I go to Marine. Biodiversity Fund, what's its status of its projects and its so, status in general? Um, the as is outlined in the portfolio additional estimates statements, um, the biodiversity fund uh, has now um, been terminated. Mm. But in, in terms of the projects that are ongoing, there are um, there's a continuation of managing contracts, and some of those contracts go through to 1718, Senator. Um, the total expenditure for biodiversity fund by 1718 will be in the order of 381 million. Um, uh, so those contracts uh, will still be managed and they'll be still be reported on the information that's coming from those will still be utilised okay. in terms of our monitoring and evaluation system. Okay, thank you. Senator, um, can I um, chair with your indulgence uh, with respect to, uh, you asked before about the NHT Ministerial Board, I now understand the intent of the, the question. Um, Basically, once, fund, once the government has decided to actually take funds as an offset from the trust, it wasn't a decision of the board to actually um, make that decision. That was a matter for government. The NHT board uh, makes decisions on funding within the trust. It's not responsible for making decisions for savings the from the trust. Yeah, we'll split those hairs later. Um, can I very quickly ask about the marine process? I'm, I, I just want to follow up on a couple of questions that were asked before, and that is, in terms of the consultation process for the new lot of reviews, who's being consulted? Um, Senator, that, the details are still being established in terms of the, the review panels, and the terms of reference and the process that they'll run to, to undertake the consultation, so that hasn't been finalised yet. Um, and one, one last, last one in terms of the question that I was asking about the 100 million. I mean, management plans aren't there, so for all intents and purposes, the fishing that's currently going on in those areas that in the boundaries of the marine parks, that's still all as it was before. That's, that's correct. Right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.